Hello and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Common Rider Dime review for you today. This is Arm Change Series number 08, Zangetsu Shin. Comes with everything you see here. You get Zangetsu Shin, you get his melon energy arms, and you get the Sonic Arrow accessory. Here is the front of the box. I'll try to... Let me zoom out a bit here. So here's the box. Nice picture of Zangetsu Shin on the side. Another picture there. Showing you how the arms goes on top. Picture on the bottom. Then on the back it shows some of the other guys in the series. You have 07 Guridon. Uh, number 9 is... Kurokage, I believe his name is. And then number 10 is Jimba Lemon. And then I'll pan up here so you can see the picture up there. It's pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to put this off to the side and dive in a little deeper to the figure. Okay, so here's Zangetsu Shin. As you can see, he's got his Genesis Driver and his Melon Energy Arms. Or Melon Energy Lock Seed, I should say. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have the original Zangetsu to compare him to. But I do know that the black inside, on the inside of his body here, is new. And I know that his headpiece is different. He has this new crest and he has these kind of things on the side. Um, he's got the same articulation as all the other rider figures. You know, double jointed here at the leg. Uh, 90 degrees at the knee. Ball joint in the foot. Uh, same kind of joint here at the shoulder, uh, turn right above the elbow, 90 degrees at the elbow, the two sets of fingers uh, at the hand and the wrist swivels, uh, he moves here at the waist, and the head does move, mine's really tight when I move it around, like when I, up and down it's not so bad, but you could probably hear it, like side to side it's really tight, so... I'm kind of hesitant to move it a whole lot. Here is the Melon Energy Arms, which I think look pretty cool. They have the same green of the original Melon Arms, but they also have this kind of see-through uh, or translucent uh, dark orange plastic parts, which I think are really cool. And then here is the Sonic Arrow, which this part actually does pull back like you're firing, which I think is really cool. I'm going to go ahead and put the arms on him. Basically, you just have to be careful because he does have this large crest. So you want to make sure that that fits through the section here. But then you just drop it on and click it on like any other arms change. It's a little difficult because this part, if you try to press down with this, it doesn't hold together too well. So, But once you get it clicked on, let me pan up a little bit. This front part is going to fold down and become the chest. This part is going to fold down in the back. And then this whole section comes around, folds in half there, and then folds down there to become his shoulder pad. So he doesn't have anything on, you know, his left shoulder. Okay, so here's Zangetsu Shin in the Melon Energy Arms. I think he looks great. The piece on the back is a little long, but it's not that big a deal. And it does kind of serve a function I'll show you in a minute. I really like the Sonic Arrow accessory. I think it's really cool. It's a little difficult to get him into a pose where he can like actually pull back the string of the arrow. Because the arms, I mean, you can kind of get it to work, but it's not terrific. But a lot of times on the show, they use it as a bladed weapon. Like the blue parts on the bow, you know, are blades and they'll just kind of fight with it like that. So I just wanted to show you real quick. Um, like I said, it's kind of hard if you get him to hold this and then try to pull this back and try to get the hand to hold it. I mean, it's not impossible, but, you know, it's just kind of a little bit of a weird pose because you can't really have one arm completely extended like you normally would when you're firing a bow and have the other hand cross the body far enough to hold it but you know you can kind of do something like this the other little bit of uh, play value that this has 
if you'll see here it has this kind of extended part if you turn it around uh, right here uh, actually I might be doing that upside down mm, now I'm doing it right it has to be like that it can clip onto the back here Uh, one second hold for technical difficulty okay after messing with this for a second i figured it out you can just kind of go ahead and and you just kind of click it i was looking for like a more like well molded spot to fit it but it really does just kind of push on there and so he can hold the bow on his back so there you go Overall, I think Zangetsu Shin is an excellent addition to the Arm Change series, especially since I wasn't able to get a hold of the uh, original Zangetsu. I knew I had to get this one. I definitely like the Melon Energy Arms because I like the addition of the translucent dark orange plastic, like the shoulder pad and part of the chest piece. I just think it's a really cool look. I love the Genesis driver on his belt, and I like how... His visor is kind of a dark orange now, as opposed to the original one, which I think was kind of a yellow or greenish color for Melon. And I really love the inclusion of the Sonic Arrow. I think it's a really awesome weapon uh, for this line. I like that they made it so that you can actually pull it back. Not a, very far, but you can pull it back enough to at least simulate like he's pulling back an arrow. Um, I definitely really like this figure. I recommend it, especially if you're already collecting the line. This is a no-brainer. Definitely pick him up. Uh, now that they've kind of switched into the energy lock seeds, uh, you know, there's going to be a couple guys like there's Jimba Lemon coming, there's going to be Duke coming, so very excited for the future of this line. Also, just like all the rest of the Arm Change series, you can mix and match. Zangetsu Shin can wear any of the other arms, like Orange, Banana, Grape, any of the other ones. I didn't show all of them here. I figure you guys get the idea by now, but... He's completely back compatible with all the rest of the arms. So, like I said, definitely recommend him. Think he's a great addition to the line. But please, tell me what you think in the comments. Please like, share this video. Please subscribe. And thanks for watching.